Hello everybody, Grace no Blaze, and we're back with more Brick Rigs. So there are some things that I have to show you. There are some things. One of the things I want to show you real quick is this. It's a hovercraft. Or at least I think it's a hovercraft. It's by Verdeth. It's called a hovercraft, but it's a, he says it's more like a low rider. I'm very curious though if this thing is hovercrafty or not. It looks... Oh! It look... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> what the? Okay, I hit you guys saw it. That was BS. I hit that fence at like two miles an hour Okay, there are wheels on it. You can barely see them. Oh The prop really makes it look legit. Oh, it's so strange. Oh Look at the there's we just got pieces flying off left and right. Hold on here. Okay. Hold on I gotta I gotta regenerate this thing real quick. Let me see if I can peel off here mother of God what in the world? Why? Why is the hover? Why does everything I touch turn to death? Okay. Okay, here we go. Now we got it. Oh. Oh, it kind of slides a little bit like a hovercraft. And it flips a little bit like a hovercraft. Oh, this is interesting. I've never rolled on top of, of a building before. Oh, Verdeth. What have you freaking done to me? Okay. I think I got it. Let's see if we can go to the jump all the way at the end. Oh, go! Oh, no. All right, well, um, I think I've had enough of the of the hovercraft. Also over here, from Tom Loco XD, or is that like the the face that's like, eh, you know that face where the where the little eye things are doing the X and the mouth. I don't know whatever it is, but it's a house. It says here it is, the house, my biggest creation. I'll be the judge of that. Let's see what this thing looks like. All right, so here we are. Here, oh wow. Okay, hold on. We need to go freestyle for this. I'm not gonna lie, looks pretty legit. Oh, we've got a little tree in the front here as well. And I think we've got a garage. Yes, a garage, wow. There's like clutter inside the garage too. Okay, this is probably one of my favorite houses so far because this house isn't just like walls and rooms. There's like clutter inside. Let's let's walk inside here. There's the old, uh, the old TV screen. You boys know how it is. We've got very, very, it's kind of a cramped little living space here. Your freaking eyes will blow up out of your skull if you watch TV that close. Over here, uh, this just looks like a lamp on a dresser, well, end table, I guess. Oh, we've got a little, uh, little, uh, patio over here. I see. Oh, it's two floors. I gotcha. Inside of the garage, couple of wheels, because, uh, why not? As well as some gas, I assume? There's also a wheel kind of laying over here. I think we'd probably want to move that. Let's go upstairs if I can manage to get myself up there and see what this is like. There we go. Upstairs, we've got, ah, the bedroom, as well as a little breakfast nook. Very good. And another TV because this guy is freaking a baller. Oh, we've got a quest that happens to be in the same place as the bedroom. So look, it's, or the bathroom. So look, it says jump off the roof. Don't you try and get me to commit suicide bathroom. Can't talk to me that way. Over here, look at this contraption. What am I looking at here? It looks like a bathroom thingy, but I don't know how... I don't know if that's supposed to be like the paper or what? This is probably some technologically advanced bathroom thing. Some dudes over there is like, "Gray, that's a freaking that's a freaking toilet that's just put on its side." And gray, I don't know. Whatever it is, it looks interesting. It looks space age, man. Give me a break. Okay, and then over here we've got this creature. I I don't know. It's called the Gel Gelimo Jell 18 Burko One Car Off Road. Ah. Uh, it looks pretty legit. When I, look at this thing. What a freak of nature. Now, supposedly there's actuators. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Raise up, baby. Raise up. Oh, it's crazy. Can we drive like this? Oh, we can. It's not very stable like this. Although we do have little wheels on the sides there. How, how, how stable is this thing? Oh. I feel kind of like I'm drunk. A little strange here. Okay, hold on now. Let me see if I can stay on the roadway. All right. Yes. 40. 50. All right, man. This is pretty legit. Hey, we're doing all right. Whoa. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, our little wheels on the sides are helping us. Cool. Oh, man. 
It's like an unflippable car. Hold on. Let's raise up this way. Let me try something. Let me see. There should be a ramp over this way. I wonder if we can go on this and watch it do like a barrel roll, but then land on the wheels because of how unflippable it is. I just lost a piece of the car. No big deal, though. There's still plenty of pieces left, right, guys? <laughs> oh, crap. I just lost half of it. Damn it. Okay. Maybe we'll keep it like this. Maybe like this, it's a little bit more stable with the big ass wheels on the top. No, it's starting to roll forward. It is starting to roll forward. Don't you roll on me. Don't you, don't you roll up on me. Oh, now it kind of looks like a transformer or something. Look, his little arms are kind of splayed out to the side. What in the name of God have I done? How about if we do this? There, oh, I lost one of the wheels. I see, does it still work? Oh, it still works just fine. Yeah. Look, yeah, so we're missing a wheel on the front. I guess I would call it the front. Oh, God. Oh, I'm the Drift King. I'm the Drift King, baby. Oh, 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 oh. Stay on the road, Gray. Stay on the road, Gray. Stay on the road, Gray. Gregor, no, 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 no. Oh, come on. All right, one more time. Let's get some air. Let's get some air. Come on, baby. Do it. Do it. Yes. Even if it's going to go up. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, oh, hey, oh, oh. Oh, bleh. How unsatisfying. I was hoping to see it do like a full flip or something and then land on the wheels. I have an idea. Yes, I'm a dirty cheat. I turn invincibility on. Oh, wow, this thing likes to drift. Oh, oh, this is interesting. We've done, we've done a sideways roll and then a, a quarter trippy flip. And now I don't know which way's up anymore. Oh, come on, man. Which way's forward and which way's backward? We're doing the freaking... We're doing the Voltron thing again. Come on, just kind of, all right. It's kind of like a spider car. You know, spider car does whatever a spider car wants. Now we're doing crazy wheelies. Just get off the ramp. Go up the ramp. Go up the, all right, you know what? Screw this. I should stay away from driving things and stick to blowing stuff up. That's what I'm good at. And here we go. This is what I really wanted to show you guys. This is the Topol missile launcher. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. This is made by our uh, our own Verdeth here. I think that's German engineering from Verdeth because I think it's a Soviet item, isn't it? I remember this thing had like a like a range of like 10,000 kilometers or something. This is the biggest rocket or missile, however you want to look at it, uh, that I've ever seen on brick rigs. It is 1,484 bricks, 90% 90% proof of explosion. So that other 10%, you don't get your money's worth. But uh, but 90% of the time, you get it going good. All right, let's check this thing out. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, you're about to spawn something with a very high brick count. I freaking bet. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Holy crap. Look at the size of this thing. It's actually causing my frame rate to lag substantially. Uh, hold on a second. That was interesting. I was messing with the, uh, what the hell? I just hit one of the little fencings right there, and it went freaking flying. I messed with the graphics. Turning the graphics down did absolutely nothing. Look at this beautiful beast. Oh, it's so big. <laughs> I know, there's going to be 100 people like, that's what she said. But look at this thing. It's awesome. Oh, we're going to blow up some freaking buildings today, boys. Let me tell you something. We got a 90% chance after all. Go ahead and bring this over. There's no freaking train coming, is there? Because a train will ruin our day big time. Now, if this thing had a range of 10,000 kilometers, we should have plenty of fuel here to get this thing going. The wheels are doing little, little jimmy jives over there. Not sure how I feel about that. Now, you can see right over here. Oh my god, it's freaking skidding all over the place. Oh, there's so much weight to this thing. Okay, stop. Right, right there. Okay, good. Now, as I understand it, there's a little note here that tells us exactly how we need to use. Oh, it's Yuri's note, of course. Out plus A and D to adjust the height. B ray to disconnect the coupler. Alt and S to ignite and disconnect shortly thereafter. All right, so I've been shooting things in brick rigs for quite some time. I'm sure I'll have no problem. All right, takes a little getting used to, but I think I got it. I'm gonna raise this thing up. Raise it up. Right to about, I would say right about there. 
Now we're gonna hold down on the right mouse button to get that disengage button ready. And then, here we go! Oh crap. Oh crap. I think we may have shot just a little bit too low. And by a little bit too low, oh! It just shaved part of the rocket off! Oh god. Oh wow! Oh Jesus! Oh look at the pieces! Oh, even when we screwed up! Look at the destruction! Look at the debris! Wow. Uh, okay, so I'm not gonna lie. I was aiming for those skyscrapers over there, but that was pretty slick. Oh, look at the freaking particles, man! Okay, uh, let's try this again. All right, probably a little bit higher, and I probably need to be a little bit quicker on the release. Let's try and put it right about there. Maybe maybe that should be high enough. Yeah, that should do well. All right. Second time's the charm. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Hold on. Let me get out of here. All right. It's definitely straighter. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, where's it going? Look at the size of this thing. Look at the size of this missile! Oh, it's so glorious! Oh, it's starting to, it's starting to cant a little bit. Not really sure. How straight were we on this? Not very. Oh, where's it going? Oh, it's heading right to the center of town! Oh, what a glorious mistake! Oh, oh, for a second it sounded like the, uh, like the thrusters cut off or something. What's it gonna do? I don't- is it gonna skate? right over top of the buildings? How random is that? It is! Hold on, maybe I can turn these off. <laughs> there we go. Uh, there we go. Disable, <laughs> disabling thrusters in mid friggin' flight. Uh, I don't know. I don't really, oh wow. Oh, it just, whoa. Oh, it's like fireworks. Look at it go. Man, sorry, uh, all you pedestrians. Everyone's getting rained on by, uh, by various particles of the enormous warhead. Okay, so second launch, still a fail. Let's try this again. All right, a little bit higher. I would say right about there. Okay, disengage is ready, and boom! That looks good, boys. That looks good. Let's check this out. All right, it's pretty straight. Actually, it's very straight. Um, the only problem is it kind of pulls a little bit to the left. It's like a slice in golf. You know what I mean? The the entire missile is slicing. Oh wow. Oh, I think it's gonna hit. Hold on. Oh, let me let me pull up here. Let me get nice and close. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What the hell? It didn't explode. It didn't explode. It it hit the what? Never mind. It exploded. It exploded kind of on the side. Oh, wow. Hold on, let me pull back for this. Oh, look at the freaking devastation. Let me go ahead and speed up. Wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight buildings leveled. I think, man, I, I almost feel like we might be able to do better. I'm gonna let everything fall to the ground. Look at how many pieces there are of this friggin' rocket once it hits something. Oh, wow. Okay, uh, let me respawn the map. And maybe we'll come in from, like, that side over there or that side over there. I'd really like to get this rocket, like, like landing right here. I think we could level most of the city if we get right in the middle. All right, boys. Here we go. This one's going to be for all the marbles. Let me go ahead and get nice and set up here. Everything seems to be working a little bit better, too. I reset the map. Things look a little bit smoother. All right, right about here. And we're going to want to hit that, that far tower there. So let me go ahead and pull back just a little bit. Right about here, I think. And now we'll aim just a little... Bit, just a tiny smidge right about there. Okay, this should do it. Put this on, tilt ourselves way back, way back, right about there. Now, even more, right about there. That should do it. Okay, 
get this nice and aimed up right about here uh, research material get out of the way research material I don't have time for your crap okay disengages on and okay hold on now okay the release is a little screwed up part of the rocket went flipping out in the middle there um oh crap Oh, look at it glide over the buildings! Oh, it's almost gonna hit the center of town! It's almost gonna hit the center of town! Hold on, let me slow down even more so I can catch up to this. Oh no. Okay. We have the. Ooh, wow! We have the preliminary hit! And the buildings are exploding! How many do we have so far? One. Is that one building technically, or is this three buildings? I think this is technically one building. It's just all connected. One, two, three, four, although that's a garage, so it, it can't actually fall. Five, six. Hold on, let me see if I can get up here. Any more on the other side? Oh, man, I wanted to hit those towers. If we would have hit those towers, I think we we could have had total annihilation for sure. Um, all right, let's aim it a little bit higher and let's try it again. All right, Gray's gonna level this city. I don't care what it takes. Okay, we're gonna go up even higher this time. We're gonna go right about, right about there. That's pretty high. I don't know if I want to go any higher than that. Okay, here we go. Satana, guide my missile. There it goes. Oh, it took part of the vehicle with it. See how it see how it kind of cants like that? Because it, it probably catches the underside of the vehicle. Oh, that vehicle almost falls over. Alright, now. This looks decent. Oh man. Oh, this might be the golden child, boys. This might be the golden child. Here we go. It's kind of coming in sideways, but whatever. Who cares? Let me pull back for this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yes! Lord of Missiles! Give me strength! Give me sight beyond sight! Oh, that is a good hit! I don't... I We didn't really take out... We didn't really take out as much as I wanted to. Oh, wow. We took out quite a bit, though. Other buildings are still falling over here. Oh, yeah! That was a damn fine hit, though, boys. In fact, I would say if we can hit over here, between that and this, we may be able to take out, like, I don't know, maybe like a fourth of the entire city in, like, two missile strikes. Hold on, let's try that real quick. All right, let's aim this right about there. We want to hit that top, we want to hit that tower right there, I think. So let's, let's go for that. Um, let's see, how high do we want this? Maybe right about... It, you have to be quick with the disengage, guys. Let me tell you something, if you're using this item, you want to disengage basically immediately. Okay, here we go. Disengage is ready, and boom. Oh crap, it didn't work. Hold on. Oh, where's my propulsion? My propulsion's gone. Okay, I think my problem was I was too hasty. I think I tried to activate the, or disengage too quick, because I think if you disengage, it doesn't, it's no longer part of the original structure. And it won't allow you to shoot the, uh, the fire up the engines. Okay. So now let's do, let's fire, make sure that we fire up the engines first. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh, that was so bad. Oh, I, I freaking fiddle fingered it and it disengaged and then re-engaged. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I hit the place that I wasn't supposed to hit, but it's still pretty sweet. Oh, it's gonna take down all of the buildings on this side. Crap! I totally missed the freaking the freaking skyscraper, damn it! Okay, let's try this one more time. I know I keep saying one more time, but I love this thing. Okay, uh, let's turn this off. Okay, let's do this. Line up nice and good. Right about... Now there's no other buildings in the way. So this should be pretty easy to hit, right guys? As long as I don't re-engage again. Ugh, okay. We don't really need to go too high, so this should be good. And there. That is crap. It caught the underside of the vehicle again. On a on a weird note though, it is going straight for the base of this building. 
Look at this. It's just gonna kiss the ground. Kiss the ground! Yeah! And there's the shockwave of power. Now the only issue is, is that this building probably protected these back buildings. Now this building over here caught the brunt of the pain as well. That red roof building right there. Oh, hold on, is the skyscraper gonna fall onto this building? No, it's not. All right, well anyway, this is it, man. This is the biggest and one of the coolest rocket launchers, missile launchers, whatever you want to call it, I've seen in the game. This thing is freaking sweet. So I'm glad we got to use it a bunch. I'm glad I figured out how to use it correctly so that we can fire the missile battery over and over and over. Oh, you know what? All right, we'll do one more. Hold on here. We'll do one more, one more shot. We'll try and get... We'll try and get that area right over there. Hold on. Right over there. There we go. Anyway, boys, hope you enjoyed this episode of Brick Rigs, where we checked out the hovercraft, the house, a flippy car. I don't even know what the hell that other thing was. And the biggest damn rocket I've ever seen in my life. Until the next time, folks. Stay foxy. Much love. And let us watch. The, the final flight of the giant ass warhead. Oh, of course. The last, oh, oh, is it gonna go, is it gonna go low? Or is it gonna go high? Oh no, it's too high. It's too high. Where are you going, Rocket? No! And it skips off the ground and turns into dust as particles fly into the beautiful blue sky. Anyway, see you guys later.